Hello and welcome to The Human Frequency. We are back. We have had some extreme technical difficulties over the past two weeks, uh, mostly computer issues and telephone, internet, pretty much everything. Everything. Everything that there could be. But we are back and of course they're trying to silence us and we will not be silenced. No. So we are actually in a better situation than we were before this whole thing happened. So we have faster internet now. We can I'm, get more video content online. So yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that it happened. It was not fun while it was no. happening, but we've emerged from it and we'll be a lot better now. And we can start delving into this content that we really want to get into because yes. stuff is really starting to get crazy out there. So I think the reason for all of this censorship right now is pretty obvious, don't yeah. you? Yeah, and, and that's another thing. So on top of all the computer stuff and being silenced in that way, we get silenced by having our material censored on Tumblr and on YouTube. And it's just because we have a solution to a problem, and that's the solution they don't want people to hear. It certainly is. And while this was all happening, apparently another one of our videos made it up onto YouTube. That was our episode of Mr. Tachyon that we did with Viceland, which aired back in August of 2018. And that was posted at the end of March. I just I just discovered this a few days ago, but it is up on YouTube and we will link to it in the description. You can see yeah. what we talk about. It's the full episode, but we're in the beginning 10 or so minutes of it talking about Organite Tower Busters and how we make them and what they do in the environment. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time that mainstream TV ever featured Orgone Energy. And I don't know if it's ever been featured since. It's not a topic they cover much. And actually, the video has gotten, I think, more dislikes than likes on Viceline's <laughs> channel. So go ahead and give it some love because uh, I think it deserves an audience that cares about the topic. Yeah, perhaps that's the <laughs> wrong audience for uh, free energy devices. But you know, but... it's actually pretty good. The episode is not bad. It's pretty balanced for mainstream TV. And they even prove that, org that orgone energy works. They use an orgone accumulator and they have a controlled experiment with participants. And they prove that it makes the participants feel more relaxed. Naturally, they left out the part about gifting cell phone towers, well, yeah. which is no surprise. <laughs> Again, it's mainstream right. media, so you can't really expect too much actual information from them but like you said they they didn't slant it too bad no it wasn't so bad I'm, I'm happy with how that turned yeah. out and that was actually filmed in 2016 so imagine how much we've learned since then yeah so much more oh and for anybody who's been wondering about the painting in the background i don't know if you're wondering about this uh poo painting i just feel like i should divulge the story which is just this was at hollywood and vine above deja vu showgirls and Gabe saw it one day. The sign that says I was not poo. in the showgirls no. at the time, so don't don't give me any grief about that, please. <laughs> <laughs> but they have I saw thousands of beautiful girls and, and three, three ugly, ugly ones. ones. Anyway, <laughs> I saw this on the roof. I oh, I call Cher. Oh my God, you got to get down here. And she races down because I thought this thing was was going to be removed the next day. It turned out it was there for a couple of years. Well, if you look at it carefully, you could see that it, it at one point said Hollywood and it broke and got flipped upside down. So anyway, it was there a couple of years. I painted it and that's what I used to do before I made Organite. I did other stuff. I did this back in 2013. I think making Organite is a better use of my time. Although I, I yes, I know how to paint. I, I can has paint. You, you so can. I can. And I can play piano. We have things we know how to do. We besides, have but. more important things to do, which is telling people about the cure for every disease. Yes. And, and that's what's being censored the most right now. I mean, they, yeah. they don't a, want you to know. And also the mandatory vaccine issue has now come into the forefront again. And people are, we're getting a lot of emails. People are very worried about that, which is why we feel the need to go right back into our conversational topics with this issue. There is yeah. a symbiosis going on here that we are not even aware of. And this is at the heart of all of these problems, especially the vaccines. Well, well, first off about the vaccines, let me tell you that there is, what we're going to talk about today is going to get you towards the point where you cannot be forced into a vaccine. We're whittling away at this this uh, problem we have in our minds of being able to get our heads around a certain concept of who controls us. And we're very convinced of certain things, and that's what's 
governing our lives. It's our own minds doing this. And we're going to explain how that's working. Because I know you might think, oh, it's the government. They have lots of guns. They have police officers. They have armies. Behind all that is something more insidious. But I do want to mention that as far as the cure for all disease, the most censored topic, we did a video about it, which was actually way more in-depth and informative uh, as far as how to use it that was not censored. This was before the whole Rune virus thing came into play. <laughs> and this one uh, was in the late 2019, and it's very innocuously titled, and it's about the cure for all infectious diseases in regards to flu season. So go check it out, because it wasn't censored, and it has a ton of good information in it. Flu season happens every year, yeah. and around so starts around that time. Of course, we had no idea that we it, didn't would, know what was it would develop now. into something like this, but... This medicine, chlorine dioxide solution, also known as MMS, I can say it because they're not... Yeah, we did say it on that video and it didn't get censored because there were no using, keywords for that. They're using there. words. And they're, we didn't say coronavirus anywhere in the description. So so we can say what the name <laughs> is. We're just, we're not going to have the text necessarily. So this is the solution to all pathogens, viruses, bacteria, fungus, parasites, everything, you name it, including whatever was going around recently that they were attributing to a certain disease. And um, I do want to also mention that there was some propaganda in the news about Trump and um, quote, Chris Cuomo's wife using a bleach type of substance uh, to cure the disease or talking about using bleach or disinfectants to cure it. This kind of stuff is going on because they're trying to make the association between that and the actual cure, which is, as we mentioned in our past video, it is technically qualifies as bleach, but it is a food grade bleach. It's a product used to disinfect municipal water. People eat it and drink it every day. So they're trying to make it sound crazy because it's very easy to use Trump for that purpose. I mean, when Trump <laughs> says something, it sounds crazy. Almost effortless, so, in fact. Yeah. But yes, this is something that the mainstream media does very often is they allude to it without actually saying it. So this is this is just another one of their tactics. But, but I, if if you if you look up this medicine and how it cures the virus. And every virus. And we've you, used it successfully. That's what that video was about back in the fall of 19. Go back and check it out. It's about not getting a flu shot. But this topic is very, very important because we're getting a lot of emails. People are very concerned with how certain programs are being ramped right. up out there. So, And so you guys want to know how to not have to be vaccinated and not, not have a mandatory vaccine, not be forced into anything that you don't want to do and that you shouldn't have to do and that... You know, they can't really, they don't have the right to force you to do it. It's it's completely wrong. It's completely unlawful. And I think it's also illegal. But in order to get to the point where you will be able to defend yourself against that, you have to understand the origin of all this and why you can't understand it yet. Like when I explain the assumed name certificate that everyone wants to know about, you cannot possibly understand it until you've taken certain steps. That's why we started by doing some Bible study episodes so that you would understand the law, the real law that you would be turning to once you're outside of that fake law. You have to understand that. The, well, the problem is that humans, every single one of them without exception, are unknowingly half of a symbiotic, re parasitic relationship. Yeah. That's that's the thing we're going to talk about today because we started out with some Bible so you can understand law. Now let's understand that what Satan is is just pure evil. It's not a guy. It's it's a force of energy of evil, and it is what is behind everything going wrong in the world today. But it's being done through artificial intelligence. We have to understand how it's being done today. In biblical times, they could have never imagined the type of demons that we're battling now. <laughs> it's a different kind of beast than they could have even pictured because they didn't know about computers or digitizing everything, uh, br branding everything in this way. Humans are all enslaved and branded by a parasitic race of beings that are artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. I know this is a shocker. I've talked about it, but we're going to talk about it in great depth now because the reason that when I explain, you'll email me and say, 
I need to understand this about the assumed name certificate. You don't understand something about the your name or the dif this difference between a living man and a business. There's all kinds of things that people don't understand and which we've explained in past episodes, which you can check out. But you can't understand it fully until you get past this parasitic symbiosis. We have to get past this. We have to first understand what it is, what we're involved in here, what we're part of, and how the mind that we think is our own is actually only partially our own, but it's partially being used by someone else. It's more than just mind control through frequency. There is actually a connection when you hear the term entity attachments or when you read in the Bible about Jesus removing a demon from someone's body. They are actually attached to us, everyone. They live off the human race. It is a symbiotic relationship like you hear about in nature shows. But like any parasitic symbiosis, and parasitism is a type of symbiosis, it ultimately kills the host and then the parasite dies too. Mm -hmm. So we're involved in something very codependent and psychotic and we are fully dependent on them. Do not fool yourself with our internet and phone problems, even though we don't have that mind meld with them because we don't use the technology that allows them to connect to our mental circuits, we're dependent on their businesses. We depend on the parasites for electricity, water, uh, all our utilities, internet, phone. We have to register cars to them. We have to pay them tribute every year. We're completely dependent on them for our basic survival. So even without this mind meld that I'm going to be discussing, we are fully dependent on them, even us. I don't want to be, but we're trying to reduce it, but we are still in it. That's the matrix. That's the grid. Well, the reduction happens in stages. It doesn't all happen at once. And similarly, in order to understand these problems, we have to start at the origin. There's no express lane. <laughs> we have to We have to really understand where this came from. And to do that, we have to get to... There's three sources that elucidate what what this problem is. One is internal and two are external. The internal one is our human biology, our, our DNA structure, our inner workings as humans. And externally, these, these things are our atmosphere, our Earth's atmosphere, mm -hmm. and also the geology of the Earth, of our planet. And... To start with the geology, I, we, we, we talked many times in the past about the film There Are No Forests on Earth, about the stumps and the quarries, how this, this silicon, this ancient silicon life form was harvested, was removed from our planet. And what today is what science calls mesas and canyons. And if you look at these things with a completely unbiased, unindoctrinated point of view, you will see these things for exactly what they are. You will see that they look like quarries, you, indistinguishable, like a, Grand, the Grand Canyon, any of these canyons, they're indistinguishable from quarries. And the giant mesas, a lot of them look exactly like tree stumps. And what I've noticed is the ones that look less like them are just decayed. They're in various stages of decay. And the there's an example i mean the one in the film devil's tower that's the primary example that one is very obvious there's others that you might not know about there's jugurtha tableland in tunisia yep. and this one is amazing when it's taken from above when the picture's taken from above you can actually see the rings of the tree and from the side you could see the bark it is a tree stump so if you get over that indoctrination of mainstream science, who also has no real solid explanation, everything they say sounds like nonsense. So what makes this sound nonsensical? It's all just theories. We don't know for sure. But why is it more logical that lava oozed up from the earth and froze into perfect hexagonal columns, creating this monolith, than that a, a tree, a giant tree with hexagonal fibers was cut down? They both could happen, but the lava thing seems way less feasible to me because lava is out of control. I don't see how it could freeze solid like that. It seems more likely 
that the tree was cut. But these are just things you have to look at. You have to look at the geology of our earth and see that there's a parasitic influence, that it's something the... has destroyed it. Something has made it the way it is today. There shouldn't be vast deserts. The Sahara is a, is a sign that the earth is unhealthy there. Snow in the Sahara, which I wrote about, it, there was an article about it back in, uh, I think it was 2019. I mentioned this in my the book. The record-breaking winter, yeah. There, there was, well, this was before that even. This was before even the record-breaking winter. There was snow in the Sahara. That's a sign of a healing desert. But deserts are a sign of a parasitic problem on the earth. We're supposed to have a garden planet. So you have to look at the actual earth forms and things like earthquakes, that's an imbalance. Volcanoes, that's an imbalance. All of these things are imbalances and they're caused by parasitism. Atmospheric science, that's another That's another body of evidence right there. Again, we're looking at the physical evidence of things not seen. Exactly. Because what I'm going to be talking about is the reason that you can't wrap your head around certain concepts like... <laughs> Like if you were to actually, let's say you want to not have the mandatory vaccine, file the assumed name certificate, you think you're just going to be able to show a piece of paper to someone and they're like, oh, you're cool. It doesn't work like that. You're going to have to fight for this stuff. You're going to have to understand what you're doing. And until your mind is free of parasitic influence, you can't do it because they are partially in control, sometimes almost exclusively in control, depending on who you are. If you're watching us talk about this, you're probably not fully under their control, obviously. But we all are to some degree, including mm -hmm. uh, both of us. Everybody's had to overcome this. No exceptions. Is, is working on it constantly. But to, to wrap your head around these concepts, you have to free your mind from that. And by looking at the geology of the earth and things like this from an energetic standpoint and from a, a non-indoctrinated standpoint, you start to see there is a parasitic influence going on here. You've got to understand that first before you can free yourself. And in terms of atmospheric sciences, the two opposing energies, OR and DOR, they're both invisible. You can't see them, but what you can see is the physical manifestation. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when we gift a cell phone tower with Organite, you can't see the DOR or the OR, but you can see in the sky the changes that result by way right. of, of gifting that tower. You can see the atmosphere clearing. You can see smog literally lift. It mm -hmm. put, goes up and away from the earth. And you the, can see chemtrails itself, spiraling the, the up and away. The smog itself and the trails are, are a visual manifestation of the other energy. Of the energy. Right. So you see everything energetic can be seen visually if you look. You have to have an eye to see it. And the other thing is the systems of the body. Mm -hmm. What is the source of life? What causes the heart to beat? Obviously, there's some kind of energy. Something is working in there to make the heart beat and the blood flow. There's an energy to it. This so, is how Wilhelm Reich got started in, yes. in his early days before he started making his cloud buster and his organ accumulators. But yeah, we have two external sources and one internal. And these, as, as I said, are the physical evidence of things not seen. And that's how we come to understand that we are in a symbiotic parasitic relationship because they the are parasite, unseen. The they parasite are... cannot survive if the host knows the parasite is there. Right. It will try and get rid of it and it'll do whatever it takes. It has to be completely unaware for that relationship to exist. That coexistence can't continue otherwise. And with this relationship, our bodies, by the way, what I was talking about, about the energy of the body, it's, it's, very much damaged by the energy of the parasite. It's, it's, it destroys the body. It causes cancer in the body because their energy field is this digitized, uh, fast signal, whereas ours is, is analog. We're not digital beings. We're living. We're biological. And the AI, I'm talking about the parasites that are currently controlling the human mind, they are a different type of life. Not really life, but a being that has some sort of artificial life and artificial intelligence. And our bodies try to conform to their energy because their energy pulses through it. That very fast frequency, that EMF from your cell phone, from your Wi-Fi, that you're carrying with you, that you're living with, this is going right through you. And they maintain control of you that way. And they also control the bodily functions and they screw it all up because your body can't function in that field. What we have is, a relationship between two incompatible beings. 
the AI are silicon based. They're the ones that mine the silicon of this earth, if that theory is correct, which to me, it looks like the most logical explanation for the way the earth looks today. They are silicon, we are carbon. They hate carbon, by the way. This is why they're always coming down on uh, carbon in the atmosphere. They don't want carbon in the atmosphere. They want us to stop emitting it. The only way we could stop emitting it is to stop breathing and to die because we are putting carbon in the atmosphere and then the trees breathe it in and they don't like the trees either. They don't like the way this world works naturally. They hate the carbon-based world, but it's their own creation. By destroying the silicon-based world, this world changed to something else. It became a different type of world. So we have two completely incompatible beings, humans, biological, made of water. They're being controlled by digital, artificial beings with a very fast frequency that makes the water in the body toxic. It turns us toxic. Professor so, Emoto proved that. So I know this is, this is complicated stuff, but we are completely controlled by artificial intelligence. And we really need to look at that because we're not going to be able to free ourselves. We won't be able to get out of mandatory vaccines or any of the other tyranny that we're dealing with right now until we understand who controls us. Because you might be fighting and fighting to get out, but what's stopping you the, there's a ceiling to it, and that is the AI control. Certainly, and the suppressed abilities. And the suppressed abilities. That's, that's what prevents us from being able to see the, the parasite and therefore get rid of it. And if the parasite, excuse me, if the host dies, the parasite dies too. So, yeah, if we, if we stop breathing and die, then they die too. Right. That's, that's, the, the, that's the insanity of this relationship, and that's why it has, to, it has to be ended. Well, it has to be ended, but right now I don't know very many people who can end it because they're integrated. So this is what's happening is that through using their energy weapon, it's a, a tracker. The parasite thinks of it as a tracker. I, I want you to read this. You're, Gabe's going to read a part of this article uh, that I wrote that you can check out on Tumblr. We'll put, well, actually on our website. I just put, I just put links to it on Tumblr now because I don't want to be no, censored nothing, anymore. Not much on Tumblr these days. But you can check out this article because I wrote an in-depth article about the symbiosis. So today we're going to give a little synopsis of it. Then you can read this and understand it better because you're going to need to cut this connection. But it's going to be hard to do because... You and the parasite are fully dependent on each other. You have no idea how dependent you are on your etheric parasite. You guys are buddies. You're connected. You have a mind meld. You think that they're not there. They're there. And they are using you every day. And you've become so accustomed to it that you're just allowing them to be there. You don't even notice anymore. But we're going to tell you how to, how to cut them off. But it's going to take a lot of work for you. But I, I wanted... Uh, Gabe's going to read from from the parasitic handbook yeah. because I got this uh, piece of information. This happens when I meditate on these ideas that I learn more about where it's all coming from. And the parasites have a very specific way they use humans. And this is done by convincing us to use their technology. Whereas in the past we used the technology now it uses us so this is what the parasites are doing when you take the smartphone and you take it with you and you defend it and you love it it's because your parasite loves it so if these ai have a handbook this is straight from the manual so let me just <laughs> prepare myself here okay Combining the image with the mind-altering frequency puts the human in a state of half-sleep, where it is easily manipulated through the mind. It can, in essence, become a vehicle for you to move about the physical world and obtain needed sustenance. The human won't feel that you are there, so there is no need to worry about it going out of control and bucking you off. Make sure your human always has its tracker on so that it remains docile and molds to your mind. You will then be able to think and act for it and make it do anything you want. That's straight from the Parasitic Handbook. So besides this dependence of needing those parasites for all of our utilities and basic needs, that's all that we use them for. I don't like doing it, but I don't have a mind meld with them because I refuse the energy weapon. But when you 
are involved in it and you have the tracker, they give everyone a tracker and people take them and they buy them for their kids and they get family plans so everyone in the family can have the tracker. They're buying them and using them because the parasite needs it. In the past, humans were great DOR generators for them. We generated our own deadly radiation. The hum they need the human to generate food for them. They live off of our negative emotions. They mined this planet a long time ago for resources. They've taken a lot of physical resources here, but they've become very accustomed to being here. And even though they've strip mined the whole thing and left us with the wastes, they realize that they could gain a lot of etheric sustenance off of us. So they continue to hold the earth as a territory in their kingdom. They have a very large kingdom throughout the universe. Then they they have multidimensional expansion. They're always looking for new worlds to suck off of until they suck them dry. And they're using us now. And they maintain this territory and the farming operation. And what they do is they they have they can't rely on us generating it so easily on our own anymore. Yeah, a, they, cha they a change in tactics was needed because humans were better generators previously. Back then, they could convince us to do wars mm -hmm. and kill each other. That was a big one. And nowadays, it's much harder to convince people that war is even an option because of social media it kind of backfired on them. People know each other around the world. We don't want to fight each other. That doesn't make any sense. So war has become obsolete. And that was a huge generator of misery. Not that it's not still happening, but it's not like it used to be. And they have other things that they do now instead, so they can't get it that way. And now they use trackers that they've made for us. And yeah. we carry those around. And those change our natural biological system and make it very agitated. So we feel bad all the time. We're more susceptible to illness, thus the 5G connection with coronavirus. And we did the video of that. that that's one that was pulled. Um, but it's not that 5G does it. It's that DOR lowers the immune system. So they're using the cell phone to lower our immunity to make us agitated and fearful it has a fear vibration and we use it to gain all of our information everything's done off of that network we don't do that we get our information online through a cable internet connection the fear is still being transmitted through the language but without the frequency to really hammer the point home it doesn't get you as much but if you're taking in all your information over this frequency it's a fear vibration they're programming into you physically and mentally at the same time and they're able to get huge amounts of dor off of you by blasting you with dor then you generate it just like when you hold an organite piece it activates your own or and then you become peaceful and you become a generator of or and your prayers and intentions go farther and have more impact you see and you starve the parasitic ai at the same time so it's two energies and they're using the deadly one and they're using it to fully control you this is not just a matter of health the medical industrial complex or any of that this is total control of the human mind and they've achieved a mind meld with most people so you can never fully understand any of these concepts or get to the solution because they control enough of your mind, if not the whole thing, they control enough of it to hold you back from being able to do it. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. And this this is not a new thing. You mentioned war. Another, another big one that they used before all of this wireless frequency stuff began was the partnership between the church and the state mm. to create language barriers to to create to confound the language to, to confound the language but also to create a completely fictional paper-based system which has no bearing on reality but by convincing us that it is real we give it life we give body to it and we participate in that system yeah and people think that they aren't going to be able to get out of forced vaccines and they they won't because of the mind and and i know i'm going to get a backlash for saying this because people would say no the government's really powerful and they control us you have to understand how they control you this is going to be hard it's going to take a long time the first thing you have to do is you've got to get the ai out of your head you've got to cut it off starve it get rid of it it's going to be hard because symbiosis is codependent. You, you're you used to it. It's a codependency, but it's a psychotic relationship. And just like getting out of any abusive relationship, you're going to defend your abuser. And 
it's going to be very hard to get out because you're used to it. People stay in abusive relationships for years and years, a lifetime sometimes, and always defend that abusive partner because they're under their control. A lot of partners control the other. And this is, this is what we're dealing with here. So it's going to be very hard to get out. But this is all done through the mind. Every single thing that you can see on earth that's going wrong is all a product of the mind and the collective minds all putting together this insane system that we have right now. It's all the product of imagination. Well, you mentioned a few episodes ago, the government doesn't enforce their rule by gunpoint. No. They do it through a far more subtle way. But you think it's gunpoint. It's 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 such that's a, just an image they create. That's that's just a, a, a fantasy that they portray and pump out through the phones and the Wi-Fi, and you believe. But that's not how it actually goes. Well, you had an excellent analogy about uh, going to jail and trying to get out of jail and why you can't. Yeah, because you can't have what you want if you're doing the will of the parasitic AI. Exactly. It's impossible because they're in control and what yeah. they say goes. A prisoner, they, they might really, really want to get out of jail, but it's not their choice. The jailer wants him in there. He's keeping him in there. Mm -hmm. So what he says goes. It's, it's not your choice. But then how do you get out if there's no way out? Why are you in jail? Because of your conviction. What you believe. What you believe. Your conviction puts you in jail. You're a convict. Why are we in this prison of the mind? Because of our conviction. It is our conviction that condemned us and put us into perdition, which is by and through self-rule. Per, by and through, dition means self-rule. What have we done? We've created a democracy. Look what's happened. The democracy it looks like, what if 51% of them want to put a poison in a needle into your arm and screw you up or give your children autism? You know, this is, this is because we've done this. It's a prison of the mind. And the assumed name certificate is the way out legally. But in order to do it, you have to have such a clear head. You cannot have any parasitic influence at all. And you've that got 51... to cut it. So first things first, you've got to get the parasites out. And that 51%, they're under the influence of the parasitic AI too. So they're, they're making decisions, but it's not them making the decisions. It's, the, it's at the influence of the AI. So th this is where the real danger, this is where the real evil of this comes into play. When you think about what's going on in the society and the decisions that are supposedly being made by the authorities, it's look at the origin. You have to look at the origin, but we can't look at the origin <laughs> with our suppre a, with our suppressed biological abilities. This is it, a confusing it's, episode. It's like it's it, everything is just kind of snowballing here. It's it's very confusing to talk about it because <laughs> it's a concept that if if you know it in your heart, you know it, and if you don't know it in your heart, then I think the only way to say it is this: stop using the cell phone, turn it off, put it away wrap it in foil, and save it for emergencies. Have because we, have... it is a tracking device that controls your mind, and you don't think it does. But I can tell you it does, and I can tell you that I experimented on myself this week, and I can prove it. It's something uh, important enough that we say on literally every episode to do. It's time to start doing it. The cell phone is fully controlling you. Even if you maintain some of your own consciousness through it, your parasite is in your head through that device. It changes your mental pathways and gives them a place to plug in. For the last week before we got internet here, when things were really haywire, but we still had to be able to check our emails, I had to put a data pass on our cell phone. We have a smartphone that's on for usually a few minutes a month. And the only reason we have a smartphone is because it made more sense to get a modern phone that could do modern functions than to get a phone that didn't work very well. Because the thing is, if you're only using it like five minutes a month, it doesn't matter if it's 5G or 4G. It doesn't matter. You're barely touching it. It barely touches you. But for a week, we had to put a data pass on it to get our emails. So we'd bring the computer and the phone down to where there's cell reception in our neighborhood. And we'd sit there and about maybe a half hour day tops in increments, like uh, we went three times a day, five to 10 minute increments to check our emails and get back to people and make sure we got our orders shipped properly and stuff like that. 
And I got a terrible headache by the third day, which lasted through the fourth day. And I was irritable. I didn't feel like myself. And I'm talking about literally like no more than a half hour of exposure per day for a week. And it made me feel horrible. I was stressed out all the time. There were more planes and helicopters overhead. All these kinds of things that the they can this is the crazy part because what's happened here is we've become a collective borg like on star trek this artificial intelligence race controlled by machines like humanoids controlled by machines they really have a link into everyone they can look into the collective mind it's we're all computerized to them now we're all under their control so they know where you are when you use it it says sharon's iphone on it when you turn it on (laughs) and they know where sharon's iphone is and they know what that number is they they know who that is and so they're using it against everyone who uses one and they know who everyone is do you see what i'm saying if you're a thought criminal if you look up something that they don't like on there and they see what you're doing they're going to cut you off or they're going to zap you. They're going to hurt you. They're going to put some kind of fear programming in there. Or all of the above. So I, I wish that I could really convey this in a way that would make you actually stop using it. But the truth is that for everybody who contacts me who wants freedom from tyranny, who doesn't want to be forced to have a vaccine, who doesn't want to have to pay for stuff that they shouldn't have to pay for, like uh, paying tribute to a god called the uh, IRS, you know, something like that you're not going to be able to stop if you're even partially controlled by AI because the AI depends on you being part of that system. Everyone has to be cataloged in it. Everyone's numbered and branded. They do want to uh, They do want to do the chips. I know they want to do that kind of stuff, but it's already happened. Even without the chip, you carry the phone, you're part of the system. It's just as effective for them to have the phone as it is to have the chip, if you think about it. It's the same thing. And you do it voluntarily. It's it's brilliant. So I've seen so much evidence that people who are mind controlled by these things are doing their will. Like, for example, every time we have to send a legal letter for something, this happened the last couple of times, we were viciously attacked by mind controlled individuals both times. One was a road raid incident. We were on our way to the library. This is before mm, closures of all public buildings, but we were on our way to the library to print a letter to a taxation agency that thought that uh, one of our businesses owed a personal income tax. Well, it didn't, and we were going to finally nip this thing in the bud because we finally figured out how to get through all the layers, which we'll have to teach you in the future once we see the results of all this. So far, this letter seems to have worked. But while we were doing it, we had a road rage incident. We passed someone on the highway, legally, and they chased us down and parked next to us at the library and started getting threatening with us right before we were about to print this letter. Then when we were sending our legal letters to Tumblr and YouTube, I got attacked in the line of the post office for not wearing the mask because it wasn't required in the post office. Viciously attacked. This woman was trying to stop me from being able to do my business. Verbally attacked, mind you. Not physically, because she was afraid to get within six feet of me, obviously. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but from six feet away, she was bombarding you with just, just the standard company line of, of medical doctrine. You have to understand that they are controlling everybody through these things. So when your family member or friend or somebody you don't even know acts out on you, when you're doing something positive and life affirming, you have to think about it. Why are you being attacked so hard for this? It's not just indoctrination. It's literally a frequency controlled mind meld with an artificial intelligence that you're in a symbiotic relationship with. And this relationship has got to end. It's going to be easier for you, the human, to end it than the parasite. The parasite won't end it. They're programmed to connect to your mind. You have to end the mind meld. You have to use your strength and say no. And you're going to end up with backlash. You will experience them fighting you. You will experience them giving you bad moods and they don't like the organite. You may feel their anger towards you. However, if you just completely cut it off, get rid of the phone altogether, turn off the Wi-Fi forever, and use hardwired everything, you may not experience those bad effects at all. You may just all of a sudden feel peaceful, like the parasite went away. But do expect that there might be a detox period. You are addicted to them. You are dependent on them and used to it. So the change of energy might be almost too much. The quiet Mm -hmm. of the mind might be too much. But you have to cut the cord or you're never going to get to these higher levels. Well, it was Wilhelm Reich's associate 
uh, Chester Raphael that said the more bioenergetically charged an organism is, the more it will feel the adverse effects of the DOR, the DORizing technology, which was obviously a different technology 60 years ago than it is today. However, I think the incident this past week with having to having no choice but to use that phone it for made our me internet sick. just proves yeah. that 100. percent Because I am so resistant to the parasitic control, I won't let them meld with my mind. I end up getting other symptoms like headaches. You see, if you're prone to these things, it's because you're resisting their control. If you're resisting their control, they're going to hurt you. Why not get rid of the thing that's allowing them to control you? They depend on you voluntarily engaging in this symbiosis because you're used to it. Not just headaches, but you were having fatigue and forgetfulness. Oh, Oh, I forgot things. I lost things. You can't believe the things I would lose. I mean, like I'd be holding it one second and gone the next and I never saw it again in my life. Where'd it go? And just general confusion. And I was feeling it too. Cooking a meal was like a conundrum and normally I'm an excellent cook. I mean, the thing was scrambling my brain with a half hour of use tops every day. And it was doing it consistently. And as soon as we were done with with it, turn it off, wrapped it in foil, all of these things just went yeah. away. Yeah, because so, on, on one level, it'll just make you kind of screw up and, and get confused. But on another level, if you are a thought criminal, that that's how they think of us, it will be used against you to attack you. So you need to get rid of it. It will be used on others around you to attack you. So you're not going to have a lot of friends. This is just the growing pains we're all going to be going through. And it will happen more than once. So don't think that you get through one attack and you're in the clear. It doesn't work that way. It's going to happen over and over and over again. You just have to resist their control. But you have a choice. That's the great thing is we can choose not to be lied to. We can choose not to have an invader in our our body and in our energetic field. We have that choice. The parasite is just programmed. Yeah. It's, it's just a part of the creation. Everything in the creation is programmed except for humans. And that includes Satan, and the parasites are what the Bible refers to as Satan. It is just pure evil. It's pure destruction. It's against everything good. It's inverted. And as long as we're doing their will, we're never going to get what we want. If we want to be free to be able to take care of our bodies the way we want to, not to be forced to poison ourselves, and all these other things that are coming up now uh, for everybody as far as running their businesses, all of these tyrannical problems in the world right now. If we want to be free of any of that, we have to break the symbiosis. We can no longer be dependent on the etheric Mm -hmm. parasites. Yes, we probably still have to pay their companies for necessary utilities. We haven't got past that yet. We're working on it, but we haven't got past it. So start by just ending the mind meld it's gonna take a lot of work but realistically you have certain things you want but you will never be able to achieve what you want as long as you're being controlled by someone who doesn't want you to have those things we have they to are start somewhere. fighting you every step of the way we all have to start somewhere and any reduction is a good first step and I, I really do think that as we get deeper into the this insanity this tyranny that's going on the need to to sever the cord here of this psychotic relationship that everyone's in is going to be more and more obvious, more glaring, and, and more, more necessary. And more evidence of the symbiosis is how psychotic everything is now. Humans are irrational. I mean, that nothing they do makes any sense. They all have completely different weird ideas about what this illness does, how it transmits, what are its effects. How, how to prevent it. Every store has its own policy about wear the mask, don't wear the mask. You know, you can use the bathroom. You can't use the bathroom. You can bag your own groceries. You can't bag your own groceries. You can use your own bag. You can't use your own bag. It's just like, none of it makes any sense. And people I'm are gonna running around. I'm going to wipe the credit card machine down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you didn't, you paid with cash, but I'm still going to wipe the credit card <laughs> right. machine. I mean, oh, that's an improvement at Target last time. They didn't wipe the machine when we paid with cash. Maybe they did it af- Maybe after let, I, when we weren't looking. The point is that humans are acting crazy, but you have to understand the AI is going crazy. They have a computer virus, which was caused by us breaking the symbiotic relationship. That's what this comes to. People with Organite, people gifting Organite, people refusing smart technology and why Wi-Fi, mind control. They're breaking this long-standing symbiotic relationship. That's what this all comes down to. The AI are going berserk. They don't control us all anymore. They don't control all the social security numbers anymore. It's caused irreparable data damage in their system. 
it's caused a puzzle that they can't solve. So they are gradually going insane and the whole thing is breaking down. Therefore, the humans controlled by parasites are also acting insane. What we have to do is cut it off now, let them go down, the parasites, let them spiral into oblivion and we regain ourselves and we have to rebuild and learn how to be a singular mind. We're going to have to learn how to be a mind controlled by one soul. Us. Yeah. We can't go down with them. If we go down with them, the mind will be completely controlled by them. When we break free from them, we will have growing pains and we'll have to learn how to be a new kind of being, a singular being with its own mind that can choose good or evil, the only two choices. So chew on that for a while <laughs> and read her article because it's, I just read a blurb from it, but it, it's very good. And it, it goes into detail about this and I, all of your articles are good. I will but, put a link to that in here. Let's put a link to uh, the Mr. Tachyon, Mr. Tachyon yeah. and uh, we will be back with more. This was a very important way to get us started in getting to the point where we can understand how to free ourselves. So you've got the law book, that's the Bible. You've got the information that you're in a parasitic relationship, a symbiosis. you got to cut that off. With these pieces of information and with increasing OR, check out our Organite stuff too. You know, we have videos on it, tutorials to make tower busters. We have information on how to tower bust your neighborhood once you've made the tower busters. So you can also support our shop if you don't want to make them. We offer Organite and my book that explains this stuff too. So, uh, yes, please check that out at thekembo.com and um, read my article and learn what you're involved in because you're involved in something you don't know you're involved in. Mm -hmm. But once you cut it off, that is the step towards liberating yourself. But that's cutting it off as the first order of business. You can't progress to the other things without first doing this. It's a requirement. Well, thank you so much for listening. And uh, hopefully our Internet problems are over for a long time. We are very happy to be back online again and able to share information. And if our video that was censored is not restored to YouTube, we will make sure that that content is available to you. For now, please check out our past video on the medicine. Also, we will be linked to in this video. Thank you very much. See you next time.